program contains scenes of extreme technical and conceptual incompetence and is not recommended for viewers of any age. Through the years, the Cable Worst Academy has given much deserved recognition to bad video production across the MCA area. This year, the Academy is pleased to announce the establishment of the Cable Worst Hall of Shame. This imposing facility to be located in the men's washroom of the Toronto Post Office building will create a permanent home for the truly special contributions to our industry and will be dedicated to the principles of Murphy's Law and the motto, Give me your tired and your poor, your huddled masses yearning for TV. This year's inductees in the Cable Wars Hall of Shame are... Producer X's historic production of Pilot Parents. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and young people. I'm Linda Fraser, Doug's mom and a pilot parent. Bill Lastman's Rogers Cable Testimonial. They're getting cheap as hell down here at Rogers Cable. I don't know what's happening. I really don't. Their equipment never works right. Their cameras, I've been asking for a thermo... Graham, Graham Cable's award-winning award mini, mini trampoline, trampoline demonstration. demonstration. And Maltese production of the classic Jazz Singer. And Scarborough TV's unforgettable capturing of vocalist Raji Safraj. I see you there in your satin shirt. On focus eyes on the ceiling. Caress your lips on a painted face. I think I know what you're feeling. have enough pieces to clue it together and come back with a much, much more rational, much less grandiose mechanism. At, at this point? At, at this point in time. At this point, we don't have enough information. We really don't. Ian Shelton dies. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, at this point it's confusing. It was expected to go down, but it didn't. And it's still going up. That's, it, this, this is the, the, the real gist of what I just said, is that it's going up. It's, it's not staying constant. It's not slowly going down. It's actually getting brighter. This is Herb Simpson reporting for Rogers Sports Week. Uh, Frank and Steve sent me here. They knew I was coming to Hawaii, so here I am at Sunset Beach, and they want me to cover the uh, surfing tournament. Uh, there's a couple things wrong, guys. Uh, it's not here, it's in Australia. And it's not today, it's a month from today. I am Blanche in the streetcar of desire. I can smell the sea. The rest of my life, I will love to be rest at the sea. I shall die on the sea. I shall die from eating. She plucks a grape. From eating an un... <laughs> Over the course of a programming year, we often catch people with their fingers where they shouldn't be. Dig, 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 
But every once in a while, we find someone who is knuckles deep above everyone else. Cable 10 Etobicoke is proud to submit our entry for the much mucus pick of the year. One way or another, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. One way or another, I'm gonna win you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. One way or another. The first major peacekeeping operation of the United Nations Ten, as we've got a very special feature coming up for you right now we've got the Eastern Canada tennis championships for girls under underneath the table like, I still love being pampered. I love having That's the door nice. open for me and a nice candlelit dinner. That's the way it should be. Just because I've got a little bit of muscle doesn't make me any less a woman than, uh, say, um, Lonnie Henderson. <laughs> right. This particular phantom has been airbrushed. And if the camera can pick it up, you can see. You know, if the blood sugar rises over 160, why then that seems to uh, indicate that. Having some trouble with the lights here because the. the mm. The Sheridan fans are happy with that call as he's been the. Oh, now we've got, uh, well, we got some problems. We got, the, oh no, we've got a terrible scene now. Holy shit. Red's clearing brawl right in front of us. We got the coaches, we got the players, we got the fans. Holy shit. We got, we got the fans, the coaches, the players. The rest of these coaches better stay back. Hey, you guys stay back. Now we got the coaches, the players, the fans. We've got a lot of players down there. We have some fans, the coaches. It all started when Ralph Tuck, and now we have some players swinging sticks. The rest of these fans just better stay back. Coach Dana Shutt and a couple of other people. And we have the goalies going out of that center ice. On top of all, that's a couple of players fighting in the aisle away. Fighting. Now this is really, really turning ugly. A lot of, a lot of fighting, a lot of fans. Are you still there? Yeah. Oh. Mom. I'm sorry about that. What's happening? What are you doing on the phone? Get off the phone. Who are you talking to? Uh, I'm on the air, ma'am. My hair you up in? Uh, sorry about that. That's okay. <laughs> yes. E vorrei augurarvi un buon Natale e un felice anno nuovo. E da parte del Circolo d'Arte Musicale vorrei. E ricordiamo che Emilio è pronto con le zambogne. Vorrei augurarvi un buon Natale e felice anno nuovo con le zambogne. the Livichis brothers, he's got his helmet off, and boy, oh boy, the Livichis brother, I think that's number 10, that's uh, Ed it, Livichis, that's it. he tore the helmet off the St. Mike's player and administered a couple of telling blows, and now he's really going he's crazy. He's shaking off the refs. He's shaking off the refs, and boy, oh boy. that noise there's enough talent here in scarborough to field a team there's enough interest too we host the canadian fucking booga la 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 the longer i serve him the sweeter he grows the longer i feel the sweet well girls our machine has just cut out for a moment we're just going to take one minute and check the wiring Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome again tonight to the San Andrew TV show brought to you by the San Andrew Soccer Club. I can't read, that's my problem. Otherwise, I'm fine on this job. In February 1981, the Cable Cable Classic Pilot Parents set a new standard for Cable Wars production. 
Later known as the Casey Massacre, this seminal work is today recognized by the Academy for its achievements in the field of lack of pre-production. The first hint of trouble began with the host. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and young people. I'm Linda Fraser, Doug's mom and a pilot parent. She had come to the studio expecting to be interviewed. With only minutes to air time, she was informed that she was to host live Metro-wide. I'd like to introduce the rest of the panel. On my left, I have um, Alice, uh, Barry and Maria Adams. And on my right, I have Alice. It was her first time ever on camera, but that was fair. The same was true of both camera operators. With camera one unable to loosen his locks, camera two carried on valiantly. And after about 20 minutes, the show gained some control. But now it was time for the phones. I just forget now how I was supposed to get these calls. Uh, just push the button if one comes yeah, on. The light, the, the line hasn't lit. Good evening. This is Pilot Parents. Welcome. Uh, do you have your question for us or your comment about your personal experience? Yeah. In his last minute rush, the producer of Pilot Parents had neglected to set up a system to screen calls. He was to pay dearly for this oversight. Yes, would you like to continue? Oh, uh, yeah. Um. Um, perhaps we could, uh... Get the hat too and... With over 15 minutes left, all the points had been covered and the phones had proven too risky to answer. <sighs> now Pilot Parents became not only one of Cable Wars shows, but also one of its longest. ...items that are within the discretion of the Board of Control are theirs to handle and theirs alone. So there's nothing to prevent the Board from submitting any information that they want to. I suggest that the law before us is how to dispose of the funding in tax savings and any other items. Yes, that's what I was going to say. I thought it was Beethoven, but I could be wrong. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not sure who it would be. Oh! Speaking of snow, let's check out the tape quality now and check out how things are going. We'll punch it in here on the Ikigami 964. Oh, it looks like head clog city for the next little while in Rogers and Scarborough country, but that's nothing new to those folks, so they'll be able to handle it. And we'll be able to handle it here. Bad, bad video is what we bring you here on the uh, Jerry Todd show. Oh, my gosh, we got the color all screwed up there. Let's uh, change it around here. We got the Izaki 496 working. And there it goes. Hey, you know, next time they're going to be bringing out plaid. Well, let's get back on the topic. You know, when you're doing bad, bad video, sometimes you can't stay in the studio. You got to go outside. And when you do, you run into some very difficult situations. But when you're doing bad video, you get around them. Here's what I mean. And this shop is owned by Betty and Bob Norris, and they love the Lord very much. And they use this place to witness for the Lord all the time. So come on in with me and sit down and have a coffee. Hi, Hi Betty. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm glad you came to the muffin basket today. I'm glad I came too. Yes. Shall we go in? Yes. where you um, want to sit or what you want to do first, but um, we're just so glad to have you here. Thank you very much. Here we are inside the Muffin Basket at 700 Markham Road. 
Hey, you know, it's a good thing those folks had the Kawasaki G55 Steadicam or they'd have been in a lot of trouble. We thank the good folks down at Bob and Ethel's Video Store for donating that to the Jerry Todd Show. You know... No. Oh. Oh, no. Right on camera. Uh -huh.